But he has been successful five times in history of the Good. House in recent history. We have not debated this properly. All those in favor of moving the previous question, please say aye. Madam Speaker, roll call. Madam Speaker, roll call. I was here. I was calling the question. Madam Speaker, I was asking for a roll call. And all those opposed, no. Madam Speaker, I was asking. The motion, the motion prevails. And I'm not going to stand here and uh, and vote to, uh, for a 900,000, a 900 million dollar plus tax increase on my folks now when they're struggling. So, Representative Cole, that's my answer. I yield back to you. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Representative Surge. Madam Speaker, what was the previous question? Representative Surge, what was the previous question? Do I see 15 hands for a second to the previous question? Speaker. The motion before us is the motion of moving the previous question. We are in the middle of a roll call. There being 84 ayes and 46 nays, the motion prevails and the previous question is so ordered. Brought. Both motions were made. The motion prevails and the previous question is ordered. I will call on you for your parliamentary inquiry. Madam Speaker, and maybe this is best directed to uh, Representative Sertich, but I believe the motion to lay on the table is in order, and I'd like to uh, maybe understand better why it might not be. Madam Speaker, Representative Sertich. Madam Speaker, I move the previous question. Representative Sertich moves the previous question. Do I see 15 hands to second the question? See 15 hands, the questions are proper. Madam Speaker, I've heard quite a parliamentary inquiry under um, 3.10. There's been a number of motions made, Madam Speaker, and I'm wondering if you could tell me the precedence of motions. I've heard a motion for the previous question, motion to lay on the table, and the motion to adjourn. The motion for the previous question is, my understanding, is a lesser motion, the motion to lay on the table, and the motion to adjourn. Yet, Madam Speaker, that's not what is occurring here. So if you could help me out to understand what the pre precedence of the motions, not only that's in Masons, but what you might be operating under tonight. Professor Rod, it is always the prerogative of the presiding officer to recognize the member for the motion. Madam Speaker. Representative Broad. Uh, Madam Speaker, I would move to lay the motion on the table. You will call, call Madam Speaker. Representative Broad, you cannot lay the motion on the table. Speaker, what I'm trying to understand is uh, under point uh, three point one zero, it suggests that uh, the motion to lay on the table is supersedes the motion to move the previous question, but only if the motion to move the previous question is properly made. Madam Speaker, I don't believe that the motion was properly made because Representative Sertich actually did not have the floor. So therefore, Madam Speaker, I'm wondering under point of parliamentary inquiry, why 
slides, uh, the point, point uh, looking at the previous question, supersedes laying on the table. We're so broad, we are way beyond that. We are in the middle of a roll call. The motion prevails, and the previous question is so ordered. My point of parliamentary inquiry. We are in the middle of a roll call, Rep. Sembra. Repassed as amended by your point of parliamentary inquiry. The motion is adopted. The motion to concur is adopted. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House File 2268, as amended by the Senate. Third reading, the clerk will take the roll on. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we're not going to have debate on repassage, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I, I sincerely appreciate uh, you silencing the minority again, Madam Speaker.